Yeah, I thought we were really prepared to play. I thought our guys had a great week of practice, and I was not surprised how we started the game. You know, our pressure really bothered them, and we got off to a big lead. But you can't knock a team out in the first, you know, 10 minutes of the game, and or maybe five. And I thought that's kind of how we played after we got the lead. We got loose and turned it over, took some bad shots, and give them credit. You know, they came back and, and made a game of it in the first half. I thought we settled down in about the last eight minutes of the first half and really started defending, made it hard for them in the half court. Most of their points were coming off turnovers and offensive rebounds, and we shut that off. And then in the second half, you know, I just felt like we were going to wear them down, and we did, and a lot of the credit goes to uh, our, our players and our bench. And, uh, you know, we're a deep team, and, and uh, they do a really good job of sharing the ball. We finally – I didn't think we shared the ball enough really in the first – uh, first half, maybe second half, we really started moving it. Got wide open shots, and and these guys really did a great job of finishing the game. I thought Peter uh, changed the game defensively uh, for us. I mean, he's a rim protector, and it's a it's a big advantage to have that at the rim. You know, blocking shots. I told I was teasing Gilon before the game. You know, I thought after the game, I said he scored 23 points. I didn't think he played good, and he agreed. But you know, he it's not like he played bad, but but I think he could play better, and he knows he can, and you know. TJ is TJ. He made a big shot um, when when it was about nine or ten. He made a big three to kind of take the air out of him. Um, tonight, just try to help my guards. You know they they play hard. You know, and I just try to be protect the rim back there and try to protect the uh, the guys who if they get beat. So basically, I just try to protect them a lot tonight. So um, I feel like Peter did well tonight. Um, you know, he blocked shots. That's what we expect of him. Uh, like he said, we got beat a lot, and he was there, you know, and you know, said so helped the team out, and gave us a spark. Yeah, like they say, it feels great to have a, a footer behind you after you after you get beat, and you know, you got help, you know what I'm saying, because he'll come block the shot. It's great to have his presence on the team. Uh, TJ uh, Gilon, at any time did you guys feel the five day layover from the last time you played? Uh, I wouldn't say we just felt like a, a layover, but. I mean, we can't. We started out a little sluggish, but you know, we played ball. It didn't really affect us. Well, I felt like the five-day layover kind of, you know, it, it didn't hurt us, but you know, it's, we're not on the court, we're not doing things, so it kind of affected us a little bit. But you know, saying so we pushed through it and, and got the win. Yeah, I think it's pretty good for us, you know, get ready for this tournament. So. TJ, which uh, of your three-pointers is going to be more memorable for you? The one uh, when you had to step back and beat the shot clock or the one you thought you were going to get fouled on but you didn't? Uh, both of them were made shots, so I think my, the most memorable for me will be the, uh, the step back one because it basically like sucked the air out of them. It took all their – they had a little fight left in them, and, and that, that knocked the fight out of them, so that will be the most memorable that, one for me. That, that shot that he leaned in on, that kind of evened it up because they made one too kind of like that, yeah. you know, at the shot clock to kind of – Hit the rim, stopped, and went in. You know, sometimes those things kind of, kind of even up. Yeah. You banked that one in, didn't you? Yeah, I banked. My bank's it. open on what day? Was it Saturday? It's Saturday. Drive ups open. Drive ups open. <laughs> Drive up. yeah. uh, Coach, is it? Uh, it's always good to get the uh, first one yeah. under your belt in a three-day tournament. Uh, now that your team got this win under your belt, um, good to look towards the second game. I mean, now the jitters and all this is out of the way. Yeah, I, I, we're excited. You know, and, and that's. I'm glad you asked that. We're. We're very focused just on the, the game ahead of us. You know, you guys have been around me this year. I know I'm boring, but that's the way it is. And I just believe in one game at a time. And we, the only thing we got to do tonight, we just got to stay in our hotel another night, you know. So we're excited about that. We're going to focus on, you know, whoever wins this uh, next game and, and be prepared for that, you know, tomorrow night. We have uh, the scouts divvied up. I want to give Brooke Savage a lot of credit. You know, he had the Mercer scout. He, we went 3-0 and against Mercer this year. And I really thought he really did a good job because they run a lot of stuff now. And he was really locked in. And I thought he was a key hire for me when I got the job because he knew the league. And having a guy on my staff that had been in the league at Chattanooga and had been my guy for a long time, to have him is just – I can't tell you how invaluable, you know, that is. And Jason's got Greensboro. And so uh, we'll have it divvied up. These guys will go back and get in some ice baths and, and get ready to go. Coach, can you talk a little more about – I know you don't know who you're going to play yet, but both of those teams, you split with Furman, yeah. swept Greensboro during the season. Well, they all were tough games. You know, uh, Furman, I'll start with them. You know, they beat us at, at third place, and we had a really hard game with them at our place. We uh, got up on them big and then kind of relaxed, and, you know, they came back. They did a heck of a job. They got a good team, Stephen Kroon, you know, player of the year in the league. So, I mean, 
They got good guards, uh, good bigs. They're really well coached. And, you know, Greensboro, we had two really tough games. I think probably the most memorable shot TJ made, in my opinion, was the one he beat. He made to beat Greensboro at home, you know, kind of get us going, you know, through the in-league play. It was a big-time shot. And, you know, and then down there they had us, and then we put the press on, and, you know, it, it, it rattled them, and we ended up winning the game. So all the games have been hard and tough. We have a league that's pretty balanced. I think you guys would admit that there's really – you know, Chat's got a really good team, but we're all right there. And, and so I think it's going to be an exciting Sunday, Monday here, you know, in Asheville. I'll take this final question. Gilon, this, this was a game where your shots weren't falling, but uh, you managed to hit a couple of big ones at the end. Do you have a pretty short memory when it comes to that kind of stuff? You forget the last shot pretty easily? Yeah, being a shooter, you're supposed to, but uh, it's not about me. It's about the team, and uh, I feel like a lot of guys stepped up. We shared the ball, like Coach said, in the second half, and, uh, you know, we came out with the win. That's, that's what it's about.